Hey everyone, welcome back to another Shave and Chat brought to you by The Razor Company. I'm Jeremy, the Traveling Shaver, and today we're going to highlight the one, the only, Gopali from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now the rest of the gear for the shave is going to be the Omega Roma Coliseum. I think this is a 28 millimeter knot. Uh, I'll be also using an IBC uh, with a, let's see, this is a feather Pro Super blade in there. And then I'll be finishing off the shave with the matching splash. Now, Kapali is one of my absolute favorite scents. It's one that I have had for quite some time. It is my go-to PAA scent. It is one of my go-to scents in general. It is unlike anything I have smelled in any other soap by any other artisan. There's just simply nothing out there that comes close to Kapali, in my opinion. It is dark, it is resinous, but it's also kind of bright in a way. I know dark, bright, kind of contradictory. But it is a beautiful, woodsy, resinous scent that I absolutely love. When I smelled it the first time, I said, I have to have this. And it is one that will always be in my den. This is in the CK6 formula. So CK6, it doesn't require a lot of soap to make a, a nice lather. Uh, I did bowl lather, but even in the bowl, it has a nice sheen to it. The bowl lather had the same feel as many other soaps, saying that when it's enough, it's hydrated enough. However, CK6 can take a decent amount of water before it, uh, let's be honest, I've never broken CK6. I've gotten it thin and very well hydrated, but never broken. If you have not used CK6 base, it is one of the better bases out there. I absolutely love it. All right. Now, I don't know what, I can't remember what use is on, on this Feather Pro Super. Uh, not quite double digits, I don't think. But still going strong. The IBC has also become one of my absolute favorite Chevettes. Even though the Chevette is a uh, term. Kind of coined, and I don't know if it's trademarked or not, by Dovo. So this is a replaceable blade barber razor. And there we go, I passed the bloop test, or the UN test. Phenomenally comfortable shave here. Beautiful scent. One of my favorite types of razors. Put them so much, I got it on myself. I know I'll probably should be rinsing that off on a, a rag or something else, but the great thing with the IBC is I can completely take it apart and I can take the handle off. If, if that rusts, I can replace it. Not a big deal. It's not as critical as like a straight that's been peened. Hope everyone is having a fantastic week or weekend when you watch this. It's like I've got a little blemish I had there. I 
Oh, this scent is just, for lack of a better word, intoxicating. It is a scent that I have, I also have the beard oil when I have facial hair. You know, people ask what's your top two, top five, whatever scents. Kapali's up there, basically number one for me. I absolutely love the scent. I love the, how unique it is. Just everything about it, I just, I love it. Some might say because of the uh, the resin to it, it's a little bit darker, but not super dark. It may be more of like a fall type scent. For me, I wear it year round because it is that good, in my opinion. It's one that I always suggest people try if they're looking into PAA because it is unique. It is only offered in the CK6 formula, which is a vegan base. And in my opinion, one of the best bases out there. I love CK6. CK1's not bad either, don't get me wrong. But CK6 is definitely a, a great offering. It does come in five ounces. And of course, there'll be a link to all the gear in the description below. Kind of hard to talk. At that point. Now they go to because the hair grows a little differently. And what works better for me when I'm shaving this area with a, with a barber style replaceable blade razor, shave that for ease, is shaving that and then leaving this for the second pass. Most guys have to do the stretches. And how I hold the razor doing this way. And I'll make a cross grain pass. There we go. That's just easier to just do the goatee area by itself. I know I probably should be doing this hand, but. That's what works for me with the go, with the uh, mustache area on the right side, anyway. Looks like that wasn't too bad, that little blemish down there. Third and final pass. This knot is big, but it's not super dense. So it doesn't feel like it's as big as it is.
Now, one thing I really like with Kapali as well is, as I mentioned, I do have the uh, the splash had the ED, EDP as well as the beard oil. They all smell slightly different because of the base that of that various product. But wearing them all at the same time is a very wonderful compliment. They complement each other very well. Obviously, can't talk tonight. There we go. And I always do the goatee or the chin last on my Gets a Green Pass. See, so because it does take a little more effort. Mm. Nice amount of stubble still coming off. No issue with slickness. Possibly pass the human test again. Maybe it's a little more hydrated. There's something else to keep in mind with a lot of the soaps. Is that if you're going on to your third pass and you, you're reapplying water, is if your soap is drying out, it wasn't hydrated enough for the first pass. So I just need to add a little more water on the first pass. And of course, the hard part is with every base, it's different. There's a different threshold. Once you learn the threshold, if you don't use it for a while, you kind of lose it because you're using other bases. All right. I can't see the mirror, it's too far away. I can't see the mirror that well for this finesse. Not sure if you can hear that, but still cutting. There we go. That was really good. That's was the hard part. Is it great right here because the hair grows differently? Alright. Little J hooking. That's beautiful right there. Okay, a little bit of cleanup. Just my usual trouble spot right there. Again, no matter what razor I use, D E S E doesn't matter. Always have something right here. There we go. Mmm, that feels really good. Now, if you have a little bit of extra lather on your face, and a lot of people rinse it off, some lather has really good skin nourishing ingredients to it. CK6B1 of them. So there's nothing wrong. They're kind of just working it in. Kind of nourishes your skin a little bit. You're not wasting the lather. And you get to go also feel around 
See if there's any other spots that I need to go over again if you want to do a little bit of touch up. But that was really good. So just do a quick cold water rinse. Again, just that little extra feel. There's some hairs that will kind of go back in after they lose their hydration. Finish off with a little bit of witch hazel. And we'll finish off with the Kapali Splash. There we go. Perfect. Shake the splash a little bit. This is one of the best scents out there, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. Mm, my goodness, so good. Mm -mm. The splash smells different than the soap. It's a very beautiful compliment. It works so good. So that was an excellent shave with one of my absolute favorite scents. Top one, two in my entire den. Again, just a quick recap. The soap was PAA Kapali, Irving Source and Accoutrements in CK6. Used the Irving Barber Company, IBC, uh, Barber's Razor, with a who knows what use feather professional blade. The brush was a Omega Roma Coliseum. Whipped up everything in the stainless steel HCNC bowl and finished off with the matching splash. Again, everything that is available uh, will be, everything is available that from the Razor Company will be linked below. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll catch y'all next time.